Welcome again. Right now we're at Acts chapter 6, verses 1 through 7. The choosing of the seven. Now in those days when the number of disciples was multiplying, you see, this is how it should be in your church as well. It, not just one new member here, one new member there. It should be multiplying, okay? This is more than just adding to the church. This is multiplication, okay? Exponential growth. A complaint arose from the Hellenists. The Hellenists used Greek language and culture, even though they were of Hebrew descent, against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily service. That is a very serious charge. You do not want to neglect the widows, nor the fatherless, or any people that are needy. These are people that are very close to God's heart. Verse 2, the twelve summoned the multitude of the disciples and said, It is not appropriate for us to forsake the word of God and serve tables. Serving tables was like serving these needy people, okay? So it's like, wait a second, we've, we're kind of, there's two things that need to, to happen here. There's like a twofold ministry here. We got to do two different things at the same time, okay? We got to preach the word of God. That's very important. But we also got to take care of the needy in our community. Therefore, select from among you, brothers, seven men of good report, full of the Holy Spirit and of wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. But we will continue steadfastly in prayer and in the ministry of the word. These words pleased the whole multitude. They chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch whom they set before the apostles. When they had prayed, they laid their hands on them. The word of God increased, and the number of the disciples greatly multiplied in Jerusalem. Very significant that their numbers multiplied in Jerusalem, okay? And how we need today the numbers to be multiplied in Jerusalem. The number of those who would join with the disciples. A great company of priests were obedient to the faith. Not only were the people coming to the faith of Yeshua as Mashiach, Messiah, but also a great number of priests. This is extraordinary. This is like a revival amongst the Jewish leaders, the rabbis of today. You know, this is awesome. Typical modern day Christian doctrine hinders the Jewish man to come to faith because they're so de detached from the, the Jewish roots. Don't forget the Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus, the Christ is Jewish, 100%. All the apostles, Jewish, 100%. This whole book, this whole thing is Jewish, 100%. If you lose the context and the culture of the Jews, you lose it. You lose it. It's like the foundation crumbles. And this is what has sadly happened in much of the church today. We must go back to the Jewish roots. And we must see the numbers multiplying in Jerusalem those who have been added to the faith, those who have joined the army, so to speak, that boldly believe and boldly proclaim Yeshua as the Messiah. Seek him and you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.